Yes, 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 y'all. And welcome back to Music Monday. Today, we're going to talk about the art of freestyling. Because I know a lot of people think freestyling is easy to do, which is not. Uh, people also think it's, it don't require too much thinking and skill, which it does. So let me tell you about the ins and outs since I'm a freestyling type of dude. Like, if you follow my channel, you already know I do Freestyle Fridays, which I honestly just freestyle every single thing that I do. I don't fake it. I don't um, write nothing down and then recite it. Nah, I don't do none of that. I actually sit here, turn the beat on, push the record button on uh, the beat and push the record button on um, my recording app and I do what I do and then chop it up give it to y'all so i'm gonna tell you a few little things that help me be a better freestyler one you have to have some type of lane when you freestyling like if you're gonna freestyle about an apple freestyle about all the aspects of an apple if you're gonna freestyle about clothes freestyle about all the aspects of clothes if you're gonna freestyle about coming up in the game freestyle about all the aspects of coming up in the game. It's a lot of aspects to each little field and genre that you're going and doing. So basically, the only thing you got to do is just stay in that little lane that you want to be in. You know, so that when I was younger, I was told you got a lot of skill, but it's all in the air. What you have to do is conceptualize your rhymes basically put a purpose to them and start rhyming with a reason and when my OG told me that I was like okay you know cause I, did, I wasn't doing the rapping thing when I was super young but when I became like a teenager and I started figuring out like I, I got a little skill when it comes to this cause me and my little cousin we've been cousin Terrence shout out to my cousin Terrence Whitmore we've been rapping um, we was rapping since we was like 10 like literally like nine and ten years old he was with a tape recorder sitting up there trying to be like uh my big cousin uh chancellor shout out my big cousin chancellor Whitmore and my big brother Dave Gutter shout out my big brother Dave Gut we was trying to be like them because they were you know they had the little rapping down and they was killing it you know what I'm saying little teenager out there doing it so we was like man we trying to get some of that too so we went ahead and basically did our little thing and, and Start building up our way with it, um, but when it came, when I found out about the art of freestyling was when I was like 16. Well, I knew about freestyling, but I didn't know about the art of it until I was like 15 in the car with my homeboy Lorenzo Franklin. Shout out my boy Lorenzo Franklin, my cousin and them, and uh, my homeboy. Uh, I remember his name in a minute and give him a shout out. Uh, but he was in the car them and I was just like all right let me try this little thing man basically it's like poetry which I used to do anyway when I was a kid I used to write comic books and I also used to write like little poetry and I started doing that but doing it in a rhythmic form which helped me form my writing skills but when it came to freestyling I basically conjured that little talent up by just chilling in the car with my homeboy with them and it was like yo you freestyle and I was like yeah and that's what that's how it happened i just started putting words together and it was like whoa okay 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 you're doing a little something right there man you're doing a little something so that just manifested into what i am um, able to do now and what happened you know over the years so freestyling is basically a art that you gotta have a paintbrush for Besides staying in your lane for it, you also got to have a picture and a vision of what you're going to do. And if you don't, then your rhymes won't come across to nobody. So you got to be able to translate. you be able to kick off something that people can feel. And at the same time, still be um, clever and have a nice little pop with your rhyme. So that's how basically I came to be a, a freestyler myself so in that I'm saying that um, when you freestyle make sure you know enough words with the word that you freestyling too 
Because if you don't know enough words, but the words that you're freestyling, you're going to look stupid out here. You're going to look real stupid rhyming ink and pink like a hundred times. People going to get tired of your rhymes because it's repetitive. So you're going to be like, man, you can't rhyme nothing else besides ink and pink, you know, or stink and link. You know, they, you have to be, you have to have more of a broadened horizon when it comes to the freestyle. And if you have the bigger your vocabulary, the easier it will be for you to freestyle. To me, I'm a nerd, so I, I just be critiquing and peeking and doing all that other stuff. So, and I have a sponge for a brain. So anything I, anything I'm interested in, I go ahead and just latch on to it and make it one with me. So that's how I came to be like um, a major freestyler myself. Um, I probably I used to do the battle rapping thing myself too, and that's a good way to sharpen up your your skills. But you don't want to go try to freestyle with no no seasoned veteran uh, battle rappers because most of them don't actually freestyle. They they got millions of rhymes posted in their head and they just waiting to release them whenever they need to upon whoever comes in their vicinity. But me, I I feel it's more clever to just come off the top of the dome. You know what I mean? Just right then and there, that moment, what can you think of? And if you do that, it'll make you a little bit sharper when it comes to freestyling. Now, for everybody that think it's super easy, no, it's not. If you, if you listen to anything I done said right now, it, that don't sound simple. It sounds mentally complicated. You stay on beat, stay on rhyme, have um, a topic or have just something that you can ride off of and still be able to match up with the beat at the same time while controlling the crowd. All that is very, very difficult. Now, once you put all those little things I just I just said before together, it'll be a little bit more easier for you to, to freestyle with ease. Like, I know it's a lot of people out here, or a lot of artists that claim they got freestyles. Those type of freestyles are just verses that they write in there on the spot to that certain beat and they probably will never use that said freestyle again unless they need to go back to it and basically use it for like a throwaway verse for a throwaway song that they do on somebody but besides that they're, that's not a true freestyle true freestyle is when somebody get up there and can rhyme about like I got a, a red chair in front of me if I can get it out and rhyme about the red chair that's in front of me like a hundred times but describe to you that same chair in a hundred different formats rhythmically off the top of my dome that makes it much much better and it also sharpens up your verbal abilities mental abilities and your coordinative abilities because you have to coordinate timing you have to coordinate words together you have to make senses first all that is crazy me my mind works at a million miles per hour so freestyling to me comes naturally because my mind works like that anyway my mind works rapid fire do, 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 do. so when it comes to rhyming that helps me keep my calm and freestyling helps me keep my calm basically when i want to get emotions out that i need to get out that i don't want to make public i do it through way of rhyming because i can basically beat up basically sorry about that i can basically beat up the beat and not get in trouble for it it's just all about releasing stress and anger without physically having to affect anybody or yourself while doing it. So that's just my thing, and that's how I do it. But if you really want to know um, how to freestyle, man, go to one of the people that you trust. If if I know a lot of y'all don't know me, but for all the people that do know me, you know what I mean? If y'all need to know a little bit more tips, I'll let you, boy. People that don't know me. Go to somebody that you trust that can freestyle real well and you ask them the same thing. And I'm telling you, link my little comments up with their comments and see if I'm right or not. Uh, but like I said before, freestyling is an art. I love to do it. Um, if if y'all love to do it, man, keep pressing. I don't care how old you get. You could be 92 years old and you can still be able to spit one of the coldest freestyles ever in life. That's why you see Eminem still going strong at the age of 45. Uh, Jay Z still going strong past the age of 40. That's why you see Rakim at the, at 50 in his um, mid 50s still being able to kick off some rhyme. It's something that you don't get rid of. 
being able to freestyle and the ability to freestyle is something that you will have for life something that you just don't get rid of and it's something that you can't just pass on uh it's something that you can pass on but everybody don't have the gene to freestyle so a lot of people out there if you are not a good freestyler and you didn't try it enough time you still can't get it but you're a good writer stick to doing that and just basically get a few freestyles written on paper and do like the battle rappers do and kick them like that but for all my people that can freestyle, freestyle, like myself, man, it's it's tough, but it's a fun thing to do. It's a fun skill to have, and it's also a very unique one, because from what I've been told by music teachers, like people that teach music and teach grammar and things like this, they've told me that's a very, very unique ability, and it's cognitively rewarding because it exercises your brain and it makes you somewhat more in inept to divulging words and being able to decipher words and react to um, phrases and knowing nouns by you know nouns verbs um, adjectives you know um, and all those other good things so when you got music teachers and grammar teachers telling you that that that's an amazing talent and they wish that they can do it then let's stick we gonna let's stick with it y'all so we keep bringing it until we can't bring it no more and then pass that out to somebody else so if you're a little freestyling cat out there keep doing your thing you know what i'm saying i'm with you and if you're not a freestyling cat but you want to know how to be a freestyling cat go ahead and listen to your boy I'm telling you. <laughs> so, with that being said, this is another Music Monday. I'd like to thank y'all for joining the channel. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscription button. Press that like button. Then, leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. Until next time, this is Doc. And I am O-U-T. Peace.